Oh, he's the greatest horse I've ever been around. He's got, I've had stud horses all my life and he's, uh, he's good natured, he's quiet, he'll do what you want to do. He's, uh, he, he's just a magnificent horse. Give me a little bit of the uh, of such hustles racing career. Well, I he raced for Doug Ackerman, of course. I never raced the horse, but uh, I bought him from Doug Ackerman and Richard Staley. He raced uh, basically in Illinois when he was a two-year-old. His best year was his two and three-year-old year, and uh, he was the best two-year-old trotter, the fastest two-year-old trotter to ever come out of Illinois at that time. The stud fee is negotiable, and we, we advertise him at a thousand. And I think next year we're going to charge a little more, and maybe get a little less, but we won't have so much hassle. You're going to charge a little more because of the uh, Blackwell, of course. Yeah. How, did the, how did the mayor come to uh, such hustle? Well, evidently Jenny Benson had the mayor, and uh, she decided the cross was good and the price was right, so she come over here and bred to such hustle. And uh, and we we've. we've uh, I might add that we've bred the mare back to Such Hustle and she's in full Such Hustle again, so she'll have a, the exist, the foal will be a full brother or sister to Mr. Blackwell. Mr. Blackwell, go for it. Well, he sold very reasonable at the Adrian sale. I'm thinking around less than 4,000, but I, I know the owners were prepared to pay up to 8,500, but that's the story you always hear about auction sales. Looks like the price is going to go up on any future offspring. Well, I would think so. <laughs> I would certainly think so. With Mr. Blackwell now scratched out of the race, means the local favorite will probably be a settle in Torch D. But there are a couple other horses that think that they have a legitimate shot in this race as well. Coming up next, the post parade for the two-year-old trotting colts from Bad Axe on Michigan Hoofbeats.